Hello again, this is Rafi Gutierrez. So before you actually install the driver for the 2165, you can actually take out the USB cable at this point. Alright? So that just shows you're actually going to be able to connect to the printer without any cable. But first, you have to see if your laptop was able to connect successfully to the printer. So you will do that by clicking on the network properties and check if your laptop or your notebook is connected to the printer. So if you look on our notebook, or in our Samsung notebook over here, it's showing that it's connected. That's how it should be on your laptop. By the way, when you connect this for the first time, it will ask you for the password that you generated a while ago. This is the first or uh, third time to connect to this notebook, so it didn't ask for the password anymore, so it just went right through. So go ahead and open the CD again. And now run the actual setup file. A while ago we went to the application folder. Now you can go ahead and run the actual setup file. And hit yes. And to start to initialize. The installation process will take a few minutes depending on how fast your laptop is. Alright, so the cool thing about this printer, guys, you can actually uh, print directly from your notebook, from your cell phone, from your tablet without the usual um, hassle. Alright, after you do this, connect any laptop and by just installing the driver and you're good to go. So now, hit install. And hit accept. And go ahead and hit next. And you can say either yes or no to this. It doesn't matter. I just ask him if you want to send information to Samsung. And you have three options. You have to click on the second one. Even if we are configuring a wireless printer, the second option is what you need to choose. And hit next. And now it will... Connect to the device, make sure the printer is turned on, and you can hit the next button. So it will begin searching for the printer, and it should be able to find it. Alright, so there you go, Villa. Very nice, very beautiful. It found, detected the ML2160 series printer without the USB cable connected. Hit next. And it, it will begin configuring the printer. It will install several programs. So just go ahead and let it install. Um, here you can put a name or share a printer, but you can go ahead and do that later. And if you want to update, hit no for now. Alright, there you go. So now it's installing the printer driver. See, it's not that difficult. It'll take a few steps, but as soon as you do this, you're good to go. So we are installing on a very, very nice Samsung laptop. Okay, this is a machine that's running on uh, AMD technology. All right, it's a quad core with um, E6 Vision graphics. All right, so that's the process. We're almost done. Getting to a close over here. All right. We're not doing any shortcuts, so you know that you know we're not bypassing any step. We're doing it exactly how it's supposed to be done. All right, and there you go. All right. Oops. One last step. Ha. Huh.
So anyway, while we're waiting for this to be completed, just a little bit of troubleshooting. If let's say you you um, turn off your computer for the day and turn off the notebook and the printer, and the following day you turn devices on again, and for some reason do not detect the wireless printer, just make sure you turn it off for about 10 seconds before you turn it on again. Okay, so as soon as the setup is completed, we'll go ahead and do a print test page and hit finish. And immediately you can see that the printer sent out the test print. Okay, are we good to go? Yep. All right. Cool.